In this video, we will discuss the orthogonal vectors and orthonormal vectors. Orthogonal vectors. If two vectors, A and B, are perpendicular to each other. That is, if the angle between the two vectors is 90 degrees. Then, the two vectors, A and B, are said to be orthogonal vectors. We know that, the dot product, is represented as, the product of the magnitudes, of the two vectors, along with the cosine of the angle between them. The angle between, the two orthogonal vectors, is 90 degrees. So, cos theta equals cos pi by 2, which is equals to 0. And hence, the dot product is equal to 0. So, the dot product of two orthogonal vectors, is equal to 0. Let us now discuss an example. Find the vectors u1 and u2 are orthogonal vectors or not. Solution. To find the dot product of the two vectors u1 and u2. Let us multiply the corresponding elements of the two vectors and add the products. We get the dot product as 0, so we can say that the two vectors are orthogonal vectors. Let us see another example. Find the vectors u1, u2, and u3 are orthogonal vectors or not? Solution. Now, find the dot product of the two vectors u1 and u2 by multiplying the corresponding elements of the two vectors and by adding the products. We get the dot product of u1 and u2 as 0. Now, find the dot product of the two vectors u2 and u3 in a similar way. We get the dot product of u2 and u3 as 0. And also, the dot product of u3 and u1 as 0. By observing all the three dot products, we can say that all the three given vectors are orthogonal to each other. Orthonormal vectors. If two unit vectors A and B are perpendicular to each other, then they are called orthonormal vectors. The magnitude of each vector is equal to 1. And the dot product of the two unit vectors is 0. For example, I and J are unit vectors along X and Y axis. So, these are orthonormal vectors. In the same way, j and k, and k and i, are orthonormal pairs of vectors. Here we need to note that, if a and b are two vectors, such that, their dot product is zero. Then, the unit vectors, a, by mod a, and b, by mod b, of the two vectors, become orthonormal vectors. Let us now discuss, some examples. Find the vectors, a, b, and, c, are orthonormal vectors or not. As the given vectors are along, the x, y, and z axis, respectively. The respective angle between, any two vectors, is 90 degrees. So, we can say that, the given vectors are, orthogonal to each other. And also, we can see that, the length along the axis is, 1, for all the three vectors. So, we can say that, the given vectors are orthonormal vectors. Let us see, another example. Find the given vectors, are orthonormal vectors or not? Solution. Let us assume, the given vectors is, a, b, and, c. Now, find the dot products, a, b, b, c, and, c, a. The dot product of the two vectors, a, and b, can be found, by multiplying the corresponding elements, and adding the products. Here, we get the dot product of, a, and, b, as 0. Similarly, the dot product of the two vectors, b, and, c, can be found. Here, we get the dot product of, b, and, c, as, 0. In the same way, we get the dot product of the two vectors, c, and, a, as, 0. By observing, the three values, we can say that, all the three vectors, a, b, and c, are orthogonal to each other. Now, let us find, the length of all the three vectors. The length of the vector, a, is found using, the square root of the sum of squares, of all the elements. Here, we get the length of the vector, a, is 1. 
Similarly, the length of the vector b is 1. And, the length of the vector, c, is, 1. So, the given vectors, are also unit vectors. Hence, we can say that, the given vectors are orthonormal vectors. Here, an important note, is, a real matrix A is orthogonal, if, the inverse of, A, equals to the transpose of, A. In this video, we have discussed, the orthogonal vectors, and orthonormal vectors.